I'm Max, I'm Senior Developer Relations for NIM. There are two main tools that developers can use now to, to integrate NIM into their applications, our TypeScript SDK and our Rust SDK. Our TypeScript SDK is really focused around our WebAssembly client, our WASM client, so that's if you want to use the MixNet in the browser or in like an edge computing application, and the Rust SDK offers up the other two clients that we have, SOX5, which is a very common proxy protocol, and a WebSocket client as well. Starting with the TypeScript client, the TypeScript client, we've written something for that which is called MixFetch. This is a drop-in replacement for Fetch, which is kind of a very widely used dependency or a very widely used library that JavaScript developers use to interact with APIs and make API calls. So MixFetch allows people to simply replace Fetch with MixFetch and then integrate the MixNet functionality and make all of those API calls through the MixNet with but minimal code changes. The SOX5 client that our Rust SDK offers as well, this is if you have an app that you want to make configurable proxies for. So you want to be able to have your app use a user-defined endpoint to use as a proxy, uh, or in this instance, proxy its traffic through the MixNet and just give that extra layer of network security to whatever you do. One of the other things that we offer at the moment is uh, NIM Connect, which is a wrapper around the SOX5 client. And with that, basically any application that can proxy its traffic through SOX5 4 or 4A, you can then proxy that traffic through the MixNet. Some of the things that have already been built on NIM, we have uh, a project called DarkFi, which is already integrated using NIM as a pluggable transport, so sending traffic over the MixNet. We have a proof of concept with libp2p and an a proof of concept as well with the Lighthouse Ethereum client, which is sending consensus traffic through the MixNet. And then we also have uh, applications like PasteNim, which is a uh, nimified version of PasteBin, so a way of anonymously sharing text files, other files online, storing them on IPFS, maybe having a, a, you know, a burn after reading setting. Developers should build on NIM because there are very few other options that even offer pluggable network privacy, and there are no other projects at the moment that are offering the kind of privacy protections that NIM can offer.